Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a multi-track file in Adobe Soundbook CS5. So if you go to the Files panel and we click a new multi-track file, then Soundbook will actually create three tracks by default. So you can actually add three different clips from different sources. If for some reason you want to work with more than three audio files, then you can just simply right click and insert audio track. So as you can see you will be able to work now with four audio files or tracks. If you just need to use three or two then you can just right click and delete track and then you'll go back to whatever you have before. Now for this example I will work with three different sounds or three different clips and what I need to do first is actually import those set files into my library. So I go to my files panel and then I click to import file. I have the, my three different sounds that I'm going to use. So I'm just simply going to click the three of them and I'm going to import them. So I click open. And now they are ready here to be used from, the, from my file panel. So the first track I'm going to use is actually this one. So if I double click this file, then I will be able to open the waveform and I will be able to reproduce the sound. So I can just press my space bar or I can press the play button. Okay, so from this panel I can actually modify this waveform. I can add some fade in or fade out. So I just simply click and drag so I decide where to start this effect. Now let's go back to the main timeline to add the rest of the sound. So I double click on my multi track one and now I can drag my first track into the audio number one. So I click my file from the files panel and drag it into the audio one. Okay, so now it's ready to be used. I can actually click and drag this file and position it whatever I want to during the through the timeline. So I'm just gonna place it in the beginning. And now I can add my second file, which is the thunder. So click and drag into audio number one. And this is actually a shorter clip, so let's double click the waveform to see. It's less than a second. So I'm gonna play it to see how it goes. Okay, that's the one I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go back to my main timeline and I'm gonna reduce all the volume. I think it's louder than the background, so I don't want it to be that loud. So in the audio 2 panel, I'm gonna reduce the volume. So just click and drag. And as you can see, it's reducing the volume. So if I want to check how it's going, then I can go to a previous one to make sure that I'm in the beginning of the time and I can play. Okay, a bit louder. That's fine. And I go back again. Okay. Now what I want to do with the thunder clips is actually place it in two different parts of the audio too. So I'm just gonna right click and copy and then paste it. So now I'm gonna add the third one so I'm gonna paste it and place it at the end of the track. And this one I'm gonna put it around here. And now I'm gonna add my final clip which is the rain. So I'm gonna click and drag it into my audio number 3 and I'm gonna place it in the beginning and I'm gonna reduce the volume of this one as well so let's put in 30 as well and we can play to see if it's okay that's fine 
what I want to do now is actually duplicate this rain loop because I want it to be synchronized with the ambient background so I'm just gonna right click on this one and copy and paste it so I have to make sure that it's next to the previous one so I click and drag it and then it can paste my last one now notice that these clips actually longer than the other ones so I'm gonna make sure that they are the same length so I'm just gonna go at the end of the loop and I'm gonna click and drag until it matches with the other tracks so now I can go back and play the tracks That's it, we have into three different tracks into the single multi-track just to improve one of them. So one another thing that we can do is actually create an effect. So I'm just gonna add an effect to the last one, my thunder one. So I'm gonna get into my web form and I go to my effects panel and then I go to add an effect an effect to the track in advanced convolution reverb. That's the one I'm going to use for this example. Now as you can see it has been added into my effects rack. So that means that it's actually working. So I can test it. There you go. So now it has a some reverb effect that I want just for the end of the track. So I can go back. So click on my back button. And now I can check again my tracks now to finish this one I'm just gonna add a fade out to my third thunder because I don't want it to finish too quickly so I'm gonna click and drag so the end will be smooth I can actually go back just from the beginning of my third track and I can play so once I'm happy with my arrangement I can actually go to file and save my my multi-track file so I can select any of the options that Sound Booth uh, offers. So I can start with my WAV file if I want to keep all the quality, or if I'm looking for some compressed extensions, then I can go to MP3 or MP4. So that's all for this tutorial of how to create a simple multi-track file in Adobe Sound Booth CS5. Thanks for watching.